Days after Imran Masood's video threatening to kill Narendra Modi sparked a row, the BJP and the Samajwadi Party have made a shocking charge, claiming that it was Masood who engineered the video leak in an attempt to polarize votes and to get cheap publicity. He's trying to make a martyr out of himself, but he's not been able to polarize the elections because the Muslims living in Saharanpur, they know that uh, this country can only run with the love between Hindus and Muslims. And the Muslims and Hindus of Saharanpur are behind our leader, Mulayam Singh Yadavji. So he has tried his best, and this is what he has been doing since last 10 years. And this is the reason why the fa family broke up, because we believe in uh, the love between Muslims and Hindus, and he's the one creating these communal tensions. Even though on the face of it, the Congress party might have distanced itself from Imran Masood, but don't you feel somewhere he has a tacit support of the party which aims to, which, which is also trying to leverage this particular situation, given the fact that even Sonia, there was a meeting between the Shah Imam of the Jama Masjid and Sonia Gandhi, Congress president, yesterday, and she urged him not to, to ensure that the secular vote is not uh, split. You see, the, again, the secular vote, I mean, so are, are all these people non-secular? <coughs> Everyone is secular. This is a secular country. It's just that I think the Congress party has, uh, uh, has got, got a trademark on the word secular now, and they have a different meaning for it. Uh, as far as uh, supporting Imran Masood, uh, I think the Congress party is already doing it. Rahul Gandhi came here the day that he was arrested and addressed a rally. Uh, he should have not. He should have given a public statement saying that we condemn such uh, dirty language and they should have dissociated themselves from uh, Imran Masood totally, which is something they did not do. So it just goes to show that this is an, a big game plan of the Congress party, and Imran Masood is probably uh, the person who planned it all, but the Congress party is, is patronizing him, and they are using him to do all of that. As for the allegations labeled by the prosecution, was basically that uh, the occurrence was related to 27th March 2014. And we have argued that this occurrence is, does not belong to 27th March 2014. And in support of this contention, we have given a photograph just in front of Imran Masood, that clipping which was in questions, and that person has been died four months before. And we have produced the death certificate, meaning thereby that as for the prima facie evidence of the prosecution is concerned regarding the allegations of 27th March, that become falsified.